Hello guys, how are you doing? So, I'm going to watch episode 971 of One Piece today and I'm curious to see what they're going to show during um, this one just uh, like before, I'm still um, like um, expecting them to show this fight between uh, Odin and Kaido at some point since they are showing so much of this um, backstory already um, and yeah, it's um, definitely going to be interesting um, to see it happening. And like, even though we already know the outcome of um, a lot of these situations, and some of them are um, quite sad, like Odin dying and also Toki, um, it's still um, like it should be a really impressive fight. This one between uh, Odin and Kaido. So for now, um, Odin is uh, not really doing uh, um, anything. So apparently, he spent uh, this uh, one year uh, just uh, like uh, doing uh, his own thing. He, he learned about uh, what uh, Orochi was doing, and uh, it's like. I'm not too sure about um, what was going through his mind at this point, uh, but uh, one year later he found out about uh, Goldie Rogers' execution. So uh, I'm guessing that this was um, like sort of the trigger for him to decide on doing uh, something um, about um, Orochi uh, and also Kaido, of course. Um, but yeah, just um, really can't wait to um, like. To find out more about this and uh, like for this to be um, more clear. So with this, just hope you guys are ready and let's start this episode. Oh, wait, this happened. Again, I'm pretty sure that a lot of these things were probably revealed before, but it's hard to remember if it actually did. Oh. Alright, that's when they got the sword. Yeah, they talked about this before. Pretty much what made um, that um, that fox. I can't remember the exact name. Made it believe that uh, it was because of that of the sword being taken away that things um, bad things started happening to the country. I wonder if he like to sure it's really hard to know. If he's planning something with this, I'm like, I want to believe that there's meaning behind what he's doing. I just can't figure out what. Maybe it will become more clear during this episode. <laughs> They're so adorable. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, Yoguro. 
sure some things are crossing my mind, but I feel like I'm going to be wrong about all of them. I don't know if he's like ashamed because of what ended up happening because of his absence. Maybe he like feels bad about leaving the country and feels like some guilt and is trying to distance himself from others because he, he doesn't think he's worthy of it anymore. Not too sure, it crossed my mind, but again, it's hard to know for sure. Yeah. Four years passed. All right, it was 20 years ago, so they were showing something 24 years ago until now. Oh. This guy, I really hate things like this. Like having people be, be like your stairs. So disgusting. Hmm. Time has finally come. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, this is something that they talked about before. There was this promise. It's probably when I was thinking a lot about the Devil Fruit powers. I'm definitely going to make sure I watch that moment again. I feel a bit bad right now. Sometimes I are thinking too much about one thing. Yeah, we know what ended up happening with Yogoro. Can't expect anything from this guy. At least in terms of promises. Damn. His wife got killed here.
And I hate this guy so much. Hmm. Was that like a dress? But yeah, I need to watch that again because there was this promise between him and the... Um, and Orochi. But of course he, was, he wasn't going to fulfill it. And he kept doing these things because of that, waiting for this day. Yeah, this explains a lot. I'm assuming this is when he realized that he can't expect anything good out of Orochi. Yeah. This really sucks. What Orochi did to everyone. It's like Odin always wanted to believe that something good was going to happen, but now they know. Damn. Yeah, cause I annoying. No, that's no, it's the big moment. I mean, I'm definitely excited to see how it happened, but I can't help but feel sad as well. 
Because I'm going to see a lot of painful moments. In these backstories, you really can't, not exactly not blink, but can't be too distracted thinking about some of the things they just mentioned. And so much is being shown at a really fast pace. And unfortunately, I ended up missing something important. They'll need to make sure I watch that again. I feel really bad right now. I don't like when it happens. Sometimes it's hard for me to not think too much about something I just saw, especially when it's something that I become really interested on. Hmm, the Animal Kingdom Pirates. Lots of them. They were like... Expecting them. Thousands even. I don't know at this point, but we know that right now it's it's like thirty thousand, right? Oh and Kaido himself. It's like they knew somehow. I'm curious about that. Hmm. This is actually something who is pretty much. Damn, so... They took advantage of that, their kindness. Not their, but Odin's kindness, in this case. That's really sad. How things could have been so different if that promise wasn't made. Yeah, that's a good point. No use thinking about the past. They can't change it. And I mean, if he did something five years ago, there's no way to know what would have happened. And probably many people would have been heard exactly what he didn't want to happen. Yeah.
It just sucks that Orochi and Kaido are like this. Damn. Just like that. Wait, did they really just like vanish? Or was it just that? A way to show his ability. I'm pretty sure they're not just turning into petals. It's probably just a way to show it. And we know that Odin was able to injure Kaido, so I also want to see that happening. Not, not happening, but being shown. Because we know that it happened. I mean, sometimes having the numbers doesn't mean much. They were few, but they were really skilled. Oh, so yeah, pretty much. That's like really smart because it's not like they could show a lot of blood, I guess. It's not something... They do with this story showing a lot of blood. Oh, it's... Oh my god. We saw that before. Yeah, they just used the petals to... Instead of blood. Hmm. So yeah, I mean, it was like smart of um, of them to think this way because, of course, they they were like I don't know how to phrase this, but they wanted to believe in Odin that uh, he could uh, succeed, but they also wanted to make sure they had uh, like a plan B in case um, he got uh, defeated. So. Of course, it was uh, smart of them to think of this, and this is probably when uh, Toki started um, like thinking about um, like sending uh, her, her kids and um, like some of the others as well um, to the future to ensure that uh, some someday in the future they could uh, like get uh, this country back. So yeah, it's again. I don't even know how else to say this. I feel like I'm being a bit repetitive sometimes, but it's uh, it's really been amazing to to watch all of this. I'm just really impressed by by everything, and I want to apologize again for having missed um, something during the previous episode. I wasn't even uh, aware of it, and uh, I mean, again, it's it was pretty much because um, I saw those two with Devil Fruit powers that I have seen before. And I became really immersed um, uh, in that. I I also like I wanted to pay attention to what was happening, but it was like really hard because I I, I kept thinking about um, the Devil Freight powers. So again, I need to like definitely pay more attention to this uh, backstory because it's like the narrator just said, like uh, like you really can't um, like blink your eyes since. Uh, it's just, um, this is just full of uh, information and it's really easy um, to miss something if um, we get uh, distracted. Um, but yeah, either way, I'm just glad that at least this episode made uh, it more clear, like why Odin was doing those things uh, for um, five years. Um, and yeah, it really sucks that um, 
there was this promise made between uh, him and um, Orochi and Kaido. Um, but uh, of course, uh, Orochi and Kaido they were never intending on uh, like fulfilling this promise. So it's just really sad for Odin. And again, it doesn't. Um, it's it, it's really nice to see him not uh, like regretting uh, the decisions he made before because it's not like uh, he can change uh, um, what uh, he did um, in the past. So he needs to think about. Uh, um, the present and uh, or like think about the future and what he can do at the present time um, to like change it so yeah it's um, it's again it's a really complicated situation it's uh, it's been really interesting to see all of these decisions um, like being made and uh, like the consequences of, of them as well um, and yeah, I guess like that everything I was uh, wondering about before, like uh, why Odin was doing uh, all of those things, um, that was uh, I was just uh, entirely wrong because there was already um, like it was already known why he was doing this. He, he pretty much he was just being kind. He didn't want anyone uh, to be hurt, and it's again it's even more impressive considering uh, his um, his status, how he was. Uh, like um, the son of the Shogun, and he was supposed to become the next Shogun, uh, and uh, he didn't even think twice about uh, like putting his dignity aside if uh, it meant the safety of the people he cared about. So, again, it's really beautiful to see. He was um, just like uh, Goldie Roger and Whitebeard. Uh, he was um, like really kind when it uh, came to this type of situations. Um, but yeah, it's again. There's always going to be people who just want to see uh, the world um, uh, burning, and uh, of course, at this at this point, Odin realized that things couldn't be like this uh, anymore. They had to do something about uh, Orochi uh, and Kaido, and uh, all of the Akazaya Nine. They were um, like already prepared for it. It's uh, they pretty much wanted that. Uh, from uh, the start, because they knew nothing good was going going to come uh, from those two. Um, but yeah, it was um, again. Odin was always in a really complicated situation, so it's understandable uh, the things he's been doing for these um, past five years. Um, and yeah, now it's um, they are already showing uh, this fight between um, the Animal Kingdom pirates and um, the Akazaya Nine. So. I'm expecting uh, the next episode to now show the um, the fight between uh, Odin and Kaido in more detail, and I also want to see um, the moment when uh, Odin actually inflicts some damage on um, on Kaido. It was mentioned before that uh, uh, his swords were the only weapons uh, that did some damage to Kaido so far. So yeah, it's uh, definitely going to be interesting to see. Him how everything happened during uh, this sort uh, of uh, a war. Um, and talking about this, it's, it was also surprising that um, Odin was always planning on... Uh, it's like they're planning literally the same thing that um, they are doing at the present time. So they wanted it to be like a... Like a... I don't know how to exactly say it. It's like a mission, but... How do you how do you even say it? It's like they didn't want a war. They wanted to not be seen. They wanted to just um, go to where uh, Kaido and Orochi uh, were um, and um, just to uh, execute them without anyone noticing. So like a, a stealth mission or so to say. So it didn't end up happening this uh, way because apparently someone told them what um, what has been. Uh, yeah, someone told them what uh, Odin was planning. So the Animal Kingdom pirates, they always knew that Odin and the others were coming and they were prepared. And now it just crossed my mind. Isn't this exactly what just happened at the present time? With uh, Orochi also realizing what um, this plan was about and even figuring out the secret message that Yasui left and uh, like we saw how Orochi just uh, made uh, like made his subordinates just just destroy a lot of these uh, bridges and even destroyed all of uh, those ships so 
again, it goes back to literally the present time with everything uh, in ruins and uh, um, like the Akazaya 9 not sure about um, what to do. Of course, they still want to do this plan, but now everything uh, is uh, like even more um, complicated. So, I don't know, I'm just thinking right now that whoever is leaking this information, is it someone who's part of the Akazaya 9? Like, I'm not too sure, but since they... It had to be someone close to them and who knows about the message that Yasui left. We saw that... Uh, who was uh, deciphering it? it it was Kinemon, right? Nami was uh, right next to him, and he was talking about uh, the different ports and stuff, and uh, how the, the lines on the snake meant uh, that they were supposed to gather at a different port. Um, and uh, he shared this with uh, some other people. Some of the. Um, like, he also shared this with some of the. Um, the Yakuza bosses, I believe, like the ones who got. Uh, uh, like, who are now free from that. Uh, like labor camp or something um and um, i don't know like it's it's really hard to know right now who could be the spy like in this there's someone like there's someone on their side who's leaking information to orochi and um, and pretty much the other so to, to to the enemy so yeah this worries me a lot i, I i'm like now really wondering who it could be i don't I could go, like, by parts. Like, I don't believe it would be um, Okiku. I don't think it would be Kawamatsu either. Neither, um, uh, like, Kinemon or, um, like, Cat Viper, Dogstorm. Again, I don't know if it's even someone part of the Akazaya 9. Again, I can't help but think a lot about Denjiro. Because um, he's been missing this whole time. I don't know where he is. But, uh, again, if... If um, they didn't see him yet either, how could he even get this type of information at the present time? So, again, I'm thinking about him, but I don't really have any like anything to go with to actually think that uh, uh, he is the, the spy. Um, but yeah, then again, I don't know who it could be. So, again, I could be here, like, hours and hours, thinking about uh, a lot of people who could be the spy. Uh, but it's probably better to just um, wait for them to to make that clear. So, again, I just believe that um, whatever is happening at this point and how um, Kaido and the others learned about Odin and uh, like the, the Akasaya 9 coming to this plan, uh, uh, coming to this place and uh, about the plan they had, um, it makes me feel like uh, the same exact situation is happening at the present time. That's maybe the, the exact same person uh, like snitched somehow and for that to happen it had to be someone uh, like I don't know it had to be someone who's uh, like different from uh, how he was back in the day since uh, this happened 20 years ago so that person would be 20 years uh, um, like older so I'm not too sure it could even be different, like, I don't know, like, again, I keep thinking about a lot of things and it's it's really hard to be sure about anything right now. So yeah, just really can't wait to, to see more of this, for them to uh, reveal more of these, um, these things that I am uh, wondering um, about. So, with this, just hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to this episode. And if you did, please... Leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And you can also join my Discord and my Patreon if you want to get early access to my full reactions. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.